Guys, it is early. It is five o'clock on the twelfth of March, Sunday, and I kind of messed up with the Disney on Ice times. Um, <laughs> I thought it was half ten. We've actually got to be there for half nine, and it's almost two and a half hours for us to get to Wembley. Yeah, oopsie. Um. <laughs> So you probably ain't going to see Mama G till she's ready because we're going to have to leave about quarter to seven, half six. So she's getting her beauty sleep. I'm up. Um, you will see just like a time lapse of me getting ready just very quickly. I still don't know what I'm going to wear. Shock. And I felt a cold sore coming up in the night. So I've just put one of my little complete patches around it. And hopefully we can keep it at bay. But yeah. <laughs> Oopsie, we are off to Disney on Ice, woohoo, and yeah, I just need to get ready, but it will just be time lapse this morning, so um, we will see you when I am fully ready, don't know what I'm wearing yet, so who knows how it's going to go, it is cold as well, there is frost out, so we've definitely got to wrap up, I, 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 what's a vlog without a little bit of a hiccup, eh? <laughs> Looking for a reason Driven by the heart Fighting for a season With sadness fall apart Tell me not to worry Tell me to be strong Be my true I have gone wet lookings, wet lookings, wet look leggings, my little boots from Matalan that I got in the sale and you'll notice this jumper from Primark. Mama's gone, her classic brown jumper. <laughs> no, but I had a, gr a green one viewers, but I didn't think it'd be warm enough, so. And she's got her jeggings and Chelsea boots on. Yeah. So, you can't take any cameras into the uh, arena, I've just checked. Oh, well. So, you, if it has a lens, you can't take it. So, everything now will just be phone footage. But, right. yeah, we now have a two and a half hour trip to London. Peace out. See you. Bring it on, let's roll the dice. Bring it
really lucky oh goodness with the tubes and train coming back because pretty much we got off and it was there however i've got a cold sore coming up can you see that fabulous so i quickly just run to the nearby baby co-op to get some zavirax and also i am hungry so i was going to be a little cheeky and before tonight's dinner get some chicken shop but i'm not i'm gonna have one of my protein meals what am i gonna have though what am i fancying because all i've had to eat is popcorn and i'm quite hungry oh i might have a chicken ticker should we go for that it's only 320 calories so i've really been enjoying these my protein meals i got 10 from iceland and I think it was like 10 for 35 and that was main meals. I got a couple of their breakfasts as well in them. And you know what? I actually haven't had a bad one. I can't complain about it. I mean, the only thing is the lids, oh, extremely tight to get off. What have we got? Break tab, five minutes, stir, two and a half. Fabulous. Decent portion size. I mean, it is frozen as a rock at the moment. And I think, yes. We still have our cream egg croissants in here that I baked the other day. You would have seen those already on the channel. Let's see you in this bit of food, eh? Oh, I am knackered. And this smells, once again, very, very nice. I also, while I'm eating this, need to quickly redo my nail. As I peeled that lid off, I lost my nail so yeah we will talk with you tonight about oh, how we found it as I say I feel very sleepy I fell asleep on the last train home I was like, oh, just get me in and then oh, oh. and then I thought well you know what I could do with some like spicy hot wings and then i thought mm, you've been good this week sham don't ruin it now we are doing a hello fresh meal tonight the last one that we have because we're going into our third week actually we've had two weeks already of hello fresh not paid or sponsored bought with our own money but it was just something because i was finding I was getting in a rut with dinner time cooking and also portion sizes yes my downfall so i thought you know what we'll get hello fresh that will like keep me on the straight and narrow i've been having these my protein breakfasts for breakfast instead of snack man I only had snack man once last week on friday um and then the gym i've still not stepped foot in the gym no i haven't <laughs> i'm aiming to start next week but I'm hoping if it gets a little bit warmer, then I can start going out on my runs. I really do miss my run. And yeah, so probably next time you see me, I'm going to take the slap off after I've done this because I need to slather my lip in the Virax. Oh. Mmm. That is nice though, you know when you can just feel it's there and I don't want it to get to a stage where like it's really big. So yeah, I'm going to slather it into Virax. Do my nail 
as I'm stuffing my face. And then, what am I going to do after I've done my nail and stuffed my face? Probably going to have a nap, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> hey, always honest. Probably going to have a little nap. I then need to edit a couple of videos. So I'll probably try and get that done. And then bath time. And then dinner time. And as I say, while we're stuffing our face with dinner, we can show you. I've done really good on the um, gift shop. Didn't get carried away with the gift shop because the price is, oh my goodness, it was 30 quid for a wand. 30. Because they had like 30, 26, 28. It reminded me like of a raffle. So I thought that was the number. So I was like, oh, I was like, um, can I have a number nine? She went, oh no, that's nine pound. I was like, oh, nine pound for a box of popcorn. So yes, I'm going to do my nail and stuff my face. Hopefully edit a video. I want to try and edit one before I go to sleep and have a nap. Because if I do it when I wake up, how many times have I woke up and I've fallen asleep whilst editing? Yeah. So uh, I shall see you in a bit. But great success as such a fun day out as always. <laughs> right. I've just had a bar. And I think mum is... She's on... Hello, Chef Judy. Tonight we have spicy sesame teriyaki cauliflower, and we have all the ingredients all laid out. Cauliflower, cauliflower. How do you think you're getting on? Careful of your hair. Who is just knocked us over? What's the matter? Pre the oven. Pour the water for the rice. See pantry for a mouth, 300 ml, so that means into a medium saucepan with a tight fitting lid. Stir in the rice. It's a bit early to do the rice, isn't it? Or is it a quick thing? Stir in and bring to the boil. Yeah, all right. 300 Once ml. boiling, turn the heat down and cover with the lid. Cook for 10 oh, minutes, then oh, take off for another 20. Ten, oh, another 10. I'll tell you what, this water bottle that I got from Home Bargain best thing I've bought because it's not so daunting as the big one so I don't feel disheartened if I don't complete it but I have actually been going through a couple of these a day so that's two litres because this is one litre per little jug and I chuck in a straw which it doesn't do up with the lid on the straw but It's better than me putting my mouth around the top of it, ain't it? So let's fill up the water jug. And also, I'm getting back into my juices. And oh, the juice of choice at the moment right, is from Aldi. Raspberry, cherry, apple, goji, garana and vitamins. The go-go mm. getter. These are like the juice of innocent and they're like oh, 140. Nice. Away with the fairies. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. You are yeah. talking to yourself. Mm -hmm. Here we go, she's now. Oh, that cooking. Pour the water for the rice. 300 ml of medium sauce room with a tight fitting lid. Stirring the rice and a quarter teaspoon of salt and bring it to the bar. Right. There you go. And I've also picked up these little sticks from Lidl, these were. Not too bad, you know. I mean, they're not the greatest tasting chorizo. Who you can pull them Sure. But, how much for these? Uh, 99 pence, no. Not the best tasting chorizo, but you can't go wrong for under a quid. And, I highly recommend this from Aldi. Oh my God. Obsessed with this on bagels with cucumber. Mum mm. is taking charge of dinner. I'm loving this. Let's see it in a time lapse. Right. So while mum is doing dinner, I'm going to get the bed sorted. And of course that means we've got to put the electric throw on because she likes to be snug as a bug. Also, I need to top my lip up with more... Zavirax. Should I probably take my makeup off before we have dinner? 
I think so, yes. So let's quickly sort this out. We all know she does love the electric blanket. Let's have a look. We have to get all of these bits and bobs out because otherwise we don't want any problems. I mean, there is a lot of cushions in this uh, bedroom, ain't there? <laughs> oh, that didn't sound too good in the old kitchen. Let's put this. Oh, God, I've just hit me water bottle. Great. Let's have a look. Turn it on. Time temp. We are done. So if we pull that right <gasps> up there, God, now my fat ass is almost knocking off the laptop. Aye, 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 my lovelies. Nothing's ever plain sailing, is it? Let's have a look. So that, we'll put some of the cushions at the bottom because, as I say, mum can have some behind her. I've realised you can't even see me. I am here. I am here. I'm just waffling around the other corner. Standard. So, oh. What I also meant to say was, I have had quite a few of you sending me emails that you've sent some parcels. So I actually managed to get down to my old area to see the lady who takes in our parcels. And there is a lot, okay? There's actually quite a lot, which I'm flabbergasted at. So I think what I'm going to do is go through and if the names are not on there or I don't know who they're from I would potentially say I'm going to email because some people will say oh I'm going to send something down I'm like okay fine and then sometimes it will have the name on the front so I know who to thank and who to message and then sometimes it doesn't so I'm going to have a route through them tomorrow and if there's names on them highlight them or if you guys have sent me a dm or an email and said like this is the type of parcel that we coming from me xyz then I'll be writing your names on and I think I will probably be doing like a pr slash subscriber unboxing video i think with mum and i feel that could be out in the next couple of weeks because as i say there is actually quite a few of which like i'm ever so thankful and so is mum because the fact that people take their time to send us anything is honestly like mind boggling just <laughs> thank you so yeah um i am gonna be sorting through that tomorrow when i get back from work and also one of you lovelies sent me a dm today about a dressing gown hack now Shan, stop twiddling blanky. You're 27 years old. But let me show you this hack that you sent over. And I feel like everyone needs to know this hack. So let's put you there and hope we can get anything. So they explained it and then they sent me a video. So I was like, you know me, I have to have it like so that I can see it. So here I am in my snazzy mix match PJs because... I get hot in the night, so I like to have my joggers because obviously mother nature, but I've just got like a short sleeve top on. You get your dressing gown called. You put it through one of the loops. Some of you guys might already be doing this, but this was like fascinating to me. Put it through. You then get the other loop and you put it through there. Right, so you're thinking it's backwards. You then do your crossover as you would do, and then you get your ends and you pull them to the front. Look at that. Look at that. No coming apart anymore. I mean, this is why I love you guys. You actually send me life hacks that I need. If you already knew this, it was probably a waste of uh, your time watching that, but I found it blooming fascinating. But as I say, please do send in any uh, dressing gown tips, tricks, the whole shebang. What we're going to do now, my lovely, is I feel like we need to get this slap off. So, where can I put you? Because I actually would like to sit down, but I don't think I'm going to be able to sit down. So, we're just doing a 360 of the room completely. Are you going to stay there, Canon? Yes, you are. Thank you. So, 
my uh, room is not, it's not getting messy again, but it's just a little declutter because I've got like hair clips and everything out from where I've had my hair up. So we're just going to transfer them, you know, we're just going to move them out of the way. Of course, I have, oh great, I've just knocked my lip balm. Fabulous. This is another thing. Does anyone know if you can still get Clinique Pep Start? I've had this for goddamn years, but it's the only um, lip balm that I find that covers my scar. So, uh, oh, the nail's redone. I've done the nail. Then I edited a video. Then I fell asleep. And then I run my bath. And I read quite a few chapters of my book at the moment, which I'm into, okay? I'm into. So, let's get this off. I don't want to take my lashes off, though. I'm getting really lazy with my lashes, guys. <laughs> I just like, I can't be bothered to take them off. So, let's go in with some micellar water. I've got my little puffs out. Look at these little ones, W7. I haven't used these ones for a while. I mean, we're just not going to talk about that side. Ew. And I've got to be careful because, as I say, my skin's been a little bit iffy. I feel, Mum said, it's because coming into new skin, every seven years you get new skin and I'm coming into that new seventh year which is just not a vibe for me i'm not gonna lie but i think it's because as well with the weather i really don't think the weather has helped my skin at all up oh mum's mum's talking to the uh food as she cuts it i think oh i probably shouldn't have done that over my lip um but yeah so the plan of action is Get this off. I go in with my cellar water at the moment. Then I go in with a little bit of cleanser. And then I like to slather my face in moisturiser. That is how we go. So that is, you can tell that's the rancid one. That's the one with my cellar water. And then where's my cleanser? I'm going to go in with the oil balancing toner right now and as I say this will still take off any icky bits that I've got I have actually found my own skincare bible when I was doing all my books the other day I went through and found it but I think since then a new one's come out so I'm gonna have to have a look because I might have to um, pick the new one up ah ah Ah, what's well, just gone in my eye? Oh, it was the eyelash. Okay, maybe the eyelashes need to come off. They're starting to ping off. Oh, I hate this part. Ow, ow, ow. I hate this part, but it is somehow oh, a very refreshing part. I mean, these eyelashes have probably seen better days. They've probably seen better days, I'm not going to lie. Um, At least now, okay, that gives me an excuse... We're going to give the eyes a little bit of a deep cleanse, my lovelies. And you know what that means? We are getting out the Clinique Eye and Makeup Remover. That I will not use on the pads. That will be just like a little cotton pad because... Oh, that just squirted. Eh, icky, icky. What's going on now? Can't do any more shopping. My bank balance absolutely hates me at the moment. Right, so... Can you even see me? Yes, you can. What a god awful angle. Let's pop that there. And oh no, that's gonna fall. Is it gonna fall? Yes, yeah, it's gonna fall. If you was watching that, you was probably thinking, Sham, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> it actually was a task because I didn't what is going on? Oh god. Guys, there's so many new things coming out right about now, okay? And I'm just like, I can't. I've had a bit of blip with my um spending lately, and I don't know why. I just feel like, oh yeah, let's treat myself and then I just get a little bit carried away and yeah, I've had a bit of a blip, but it's all good. We are um, on the path to saving again, like a path of recovery because that's how it feels. Like mum genuinely feels like I have a shopping addiction at some points in my life and Normally, I shop when I'm sad, but I don't feel sad, so I don't know why I've been spending. I don't know 
why I'm very happy at the moment. Oh, now when your vision goes blurry, I'm very happy at the moment. So I don't know why I am spending. Maybe I just feel like treating myself, and I think why not? Eh? Why absolutely not? So. I feel like I'm not going to put anything on my lip as of yet because I'm about to eat. But after dindins, then I can properly slather my lips in the Virex. Did you hear my chandelier almost coming off the uh, ceiling there? Oh, well, at least one of my videos is exported. I might try and start editing the other one tonight. We'll see. Or I might just edit it tomorrow. Oh, I'm feeling like all my bum's getting warm. Yeah, because you're sitting on a heated blanket, Shan. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I am going to... We'll go in and check on Mum see what she wants to watch as well i don't know if we've got any new comedians is there any new comedians on netflix i feel like i saw a greg davis one changing the plan and we're going to watch The Will Michael McIntyre The Will The Will it doesn't look too bad I only put one pot of sriracha in because sriracha is spicy and we all know mum doesn't do spicy so the blanket is on we all know that she likes the blanket. So yeah, I only put one bit of sriracha in. It's got ginger in, which I'm not normally a fan of. So we're going to see. What are you doing, mother? I'm getting in. You want to get in? You don't want to just sit on top? Oh, you said it's on. Okay. I'll fill you it, yes? sit on top. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, careful, baby oh. Yoda. And actually, I quite like roasted cauliflower, but let's give it a go. You going to try all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that spicy. I should have put both in. Oh, why? Wow. But roasted cauliflower is actually like another nice little veg to put in if you do like roasted butternut squash and like onions and peppers. And this is the teriyaki sauce, isn't it? Mm. Our photo looked a little different because it had red peppers in the photo, but in ours it was green. So we've got green peppers with green ones too. So ours didn't look as colourful as the photo, but it still tastes nice. Oh no, it's nice. The cauliflower is nice, isn't it? You know what I might do when you go? You might be uh, a standard. Remember when we did the uh, peppers? onions, mushrooms, then put the fish on. I might do that one day for myself. Or I might do that for us. And then you can say whether I've done all right, eh? Like a big tray bake. What about that video I showed you earlier today with the Borsan tray, tray bake? Oh, yeah. With the cheese, wasn't it? You can try that. Yeah. But, yeah, we're going into our third week next week of HelloFresh. Um, Cousin Kirsty's got it next week. <laughs> We've been doing all right. Because I haven't seen she got some coats. We haven't had a bad one up from there. No. And I, last week I cooked three, didn't I? This week we've done two, two each. Yeah. 
so it gives me confidence to do things when you do go, isn't it? Not yet, though. Anyway, I've got a long while yet. We're going to stuff our face, yeah. watch a bit of Michael McIntyre, and then we can talk to you about the show. All yeah. things Disney. <laughs> one on the wheel we just watched she won ninety thousand pounds lucky woman ninety thousand pounds so we didn't win money we spent money when we uh went out there today so first things first the big carrier bag one pound i didn't think that was too bad no they had a uh, shopping bag for four pound but i thought we don't need any more shopping no, bags that was, in this household. that wasn't really associated with us was it then oh, fancy some popcorn. So that, I did actually think that this was a really cool way of doing it instead of it's, having it in the buckets like normal. It's just like a box of cereal, wouldn't it? Yeah. So it's you had this, cereal. <laughs> so as I said earlier, they had like all these numbers on them, and I thought it was like the item numbers, like when you go for a raffle and you're like number twenty eight, whatever. And I said, "Oh, can I have a number nine, please?" And the woman didn't say anything. And then I went to the other stand. And I said, "Oh, how much is the one?" She said. 30, that's the prices. And we was like, no. I'm not paying for £30 for a wad. I was very jealous of all the children that had one. But the wand designs have not changed in all the years. And me and Mum went five years ago and it is still the same wand designs. Yeah. So next time I'm going to take my wands with me. But somebody yeah. was saying, if you bring your own, they weren't going to let them in. That's How can right, they stop you from bringing it in? Yeah. What if you were someone who followed it all around? I could have said, well, I went and saw them in Birmingham last week. I'm bringing me a Wheel. flashy thing with me. Yeah. So we got popcorn. They did have a big mini mass bucket that went like on a string around oh, your neck. That, but they didn't have a price on. They had oh. an Olaf cup for a snow cone. They were £15. I was like... But a lot of kids had them. Yeah. A lot of kids had the wands, the hats. They had ears that flashed. They were £26. Um, they had Ariel. I was going to get an Ariel doll just purely because I have my red hair when I went to see it. I saw the price tag of £28 and was like, <laughs> too much. I don't want her that much. The thing that I did think was too bad, they had a pair of Olaf binoculars £12. I thought they yeah, were quite quirky, funky. If you was like up high in the gods, then that would be something that I think you could get because that I didn't think was too bad. They did what have a big flounder. Tiara? That was expensive, wasn't it? Yeah, you know like the tiara you used to get in like Toys R Us, like the For silver, paint. plasticky cheap. What was it? Fifteen pound, wasn't it? I'm like, how? How can you even fathom <laughs> to charge that much? So you had the popcorn, didn't you, and the hat? Oh yeah, Dennis, there were kids Dennis, that had like the, 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 the little slush. Considering the tickets are fifty dolls. quid. For adults, I don't know if it's cheaper for children. But I said to mum, like, if a ticket's 50 quid, you would get, like, a wand and a doll, and that's your 50 quid. Yeah. Gone. I don't know how much, the big, in, how much the big pots of um, candy floss were. We were going to get no. some candy floss, but I thought... I'd, I I kind of guess about that. the double brandy. Oh, yeah, 14 quid. Just a double brandy to you, it's £14 pound and, and JoJo's is 5 I said to Mum, though, when I went Newcastle for Endos, it was like 15 quid almost for a double gin and tonic. So, I mean, I'm dreading how much the O2 is going to be. I'm going to get one drink and make that right, saver. Yeah. You can't take it in because they search your things, don't it? Yeah. So, £9 for a box of popcorn, but it is four servings. It's four cups worth. Well, you've so, got that all yourself today. I know. I've still got a little bit left if I want to snack on it later. <laughs> And then the programs I didn't think were too bad. No, they're good. Twelve pound for the big program. Um, I say to mum, pretty much the max I pay for a program if we go to like a show or whatever is like fifteen quid because they are good. They are bigger, and I'd like to compare it against the programs that we've had from previous years. The only thing, oh, I really liked that one, the Coco. We need to get the film Coco. All right then. The Day of the Dead. The only. Thing Thing that I think was different this time well obviously it had Moana and Coco that was different but when they done Beauty and the Beast the Beast didn't come out no 
it's probably all sick. And I was looking forward to that because when I last saw it, I got really emotional. Look, it was just Belle and Lumiere and Cogsworth, but there was no beast. Because when I last went, I sat there crying at it. I was like, who? Well, we're right out of complaining. And then my little toy was the pig from Moana. So I didn't think he was too bad. He was 15, which I know is still expensive, but he's cute. And this is the little piglet from Moana, which mum's never actually seen Moana the film. But you thought the man, the big funny man was funny when he come out with all his tattoos yeah, and yeah. his wigs. But I like that. I don't think that's too bad because that's what you'd no, pay in the Disney yeah, shop. Yeah. I mean, I could probably go into work tomorrow with it under my arm. And I'll have it as like my new little um, mascot on my desk yeah. to keep me company. I might actually take that into work well, tomorrow. What about that big fish we saw? I didn't think that was too bad. What, Flounder? Yeah, that was 28, wasn't it? But it was, was 28. I think uh, we'll be getting Mum a giant flounder for her birthday, uh, Mother's Day. No. I have actually ordered Mum something for Mother's Day. It's not going to come here, though. I asked her if she wanted it before I ordered it first. I've ordered her a giant octopus for her bed. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might think, what the hell? It's a big, giant, cuddly octopus. And I don't know. It says it's been shipped, but it's coming from China, so it's probably going to be a while. This actually reminds me of Nan with the hair tuft. What, Nanny G? <laughs> when I used to flick her hair up, it's got its little towel. I didn't think that was too bad, so that's no. going to go in with my other... I was probably going to go on the top bit. I'll put it up there so that I can see it. But yeah, all in all, I don't think it was too bad. It went from half ten to... I'm going to say half like 20 11, past 11, and then they had a 20-minute break, and it come to at 20 to 12... And it finished just gone 20 past. But we was very lucky when we come out, like the two tubes and the train, we didn't have to wait at all. Straight on, wasn't it? We was very, very good. But yeah, see it. Soft. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a giant octopus covered. Right. So you could, that can go on your bed with your care pair. Yes, yeah, so I've got a new little toy. It's really soft, isn't it? The um the only thing at the end they had like a lot of like fireworks. It was you jumped quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh But yeah, I definitely want to see the film Coco because that's the day of the dead one, the Mexican. I really like the um outfits on that one. Yeah, that was and good, everything wasn't it? was like UV and glow in the dark when they turned the light stand. I must admit the dancers was good and I like the ones with the little uh, octopus suits. Oh well, the, the little mermaid mermaid one. Yeah. And uh, Beauty and the Beast, the spoons and forks. The army men that was like just hanging by their arms yeah. on the poles. Because I said to mum, when the um, half time come, I said like if you had someone there who got a bit too merry on the um, cocktails upstairs, they could go and dance on the pole. I said, and you imagine like security, security. All the security come at the break, didn't they? Yeah, they just stood there, weren't it? Obviously to stop people getting on the ice. But we was looking because I was like, what are you actually going to do if a kid find pasture? They can't manhandle your child. The kids would just be like, but it was very empty the other side, wasn't it? Yeah, there was loads of seats empty, weren't it? Word which I was surprised at. <laughs> Honestly, daylight like robbery, which is surprising because when it, both times that we've gone, it's always been like fully busy, fully packed. So I don't know. But yeah, seeing the journey, the journey was okay coming back. Getting there was a bit of a palaver. So now we're contemplating with Rob Beckett because it's a Sunday night. And this one obviously doesn't like to be out at night. So I'm trying to see if one of the girls at work will go with me. If not, I'm going to sell my tickets and we might not see Rob Beckett. But there's loads of hotels nearby. There's a Premier, a Hilton and a Novotel. But I don't know whether I can get tubes and trains from like, I'm going to say like four o'clock in the morning on a Monday morning <laughs> into my workplace. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But hey, I wish see. We may see Rob Beckett, we may not. Who knows? I don't know. But it is now half past eight and I'm oh, getting sleepy because now I get up even earlier, guys. You know, I used to get up at six, then I got up at five, then I got up at four, and I get up at half three. But mm. I find it, I like to be up because I'm productive because I'm up, I get my editing done and everything like that. Well, I'm up at five because you knock my door for me to do your breakfast. Yeah, I will knock mum and I'll be like, ma'am. Breakfast, please, but I'm up like half three, four if I'm having a lay-in, but I'll like edit, 
I do my book. I think I'm absolutely obsessed with the book that I'm reading at the moment. I'm but like last night you went to bed at nine, and what time did you go through? Till I was seven. Up at five this oh. morning. And then Saturday, I was a bed at half oh, nine, wasn't it? Nine half nine up at half seven. So yeah, I'm slowly getting in. So the weekend thing, you catch up on your sleep, isn't it? Well, I've been laying till about seven eight o'clock. It's not really a lay in, is it? But but you know, if you've got that proper wage at work, would you just sort of? Uh, I still get... have to go in. No, and would, do you, would you? No, but would you get up at seven, leave here at half seven to get to work right? Yeah, but I still need to do overtime for the amount of work I have. I don't oh, go in for the overtime for the oh, money. I go oh. in because I have to do the work. Oh, I see. I see. The money helps, but my workload is oh, right. through the roof at the minute. So. That is why I'm going in, and also, as I say, I'm up early because I'm having to go into work earlier at the minute to cover all of the work shift that is going on. But I need to slather my lips in Zavirax because freaking cold sores coming up. It always gets like that when I'm run down, and I think that's how I've got it because I'm run down. Well, it's not because the weather, is it? Because I, I think, think the weather's not right. helped the coldness, yeah. like with chapped lips. But you can always tell if I'm run down because I get a cold sore. But thank goodness it's not on the front of my face. It's just at the side. Just looks like I've, had, like I've had a little botched bit of filler in the side of my mouth. But hey-ho, that's fine. I would still rate it 10 out of 10. Great family little day out. Yeah. As I say, we was the oldest people there without kids. <laughs> Everyone was there. <laughs> there was me and mum. And like, we was um, not the front row. We was the second row. But we had like no one next to us. And you had a clear view of the thing. I said... When the actors went past, they're probably thinking, "Oh, the children like beside them on the two empty seats. Like, oh, they must be like in the toilet or something." No, we was just no. sitting there on our own. We was there on our own. We was loving life and uh, introduced Mum to a new part of London, Wembley, Box Park. It's got a little. It's got all the food eateries. Yeah, it's got a thing there. To designer buy outlets, isn't it? Designer outlets. So again, that's another little um, area. The designer outlet. You said it was around the corner, wasn't it? Yeah. Why didn't we go in then? I think he was a little bit tired by that point. We both had to sleep on the trains coming back. <laughs> we just had to remember what stops we had to get off at. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And then my next adventure in London will be the concert. I don't know when our next adventure in London is. When are we next at? Oh, I don't know, Shannon. You consult your diary. I don't know. I have it on my uh, countdown app. So I'm in London on the 14th. Oh, possibly cool. Rob Beckett, don't quite know. So the next time, if you don't go Rob Beckett, the next time you're up London is the 14th of May when we go Hard Rock. Oh. And hopefully it's bloody warmer then. Yeah. 14th of March. May, it should yeah. be. Well, it's only the 14th of March. We've got another eight weeks, Jen. And then we've got nothing for June at the moment because I've still got things that oh, I need to we book. Got, uh... I've still got to book the shard. Hang I've on, got to book no, Harrods on, afternoon got... tea. March, we've got nothing for April. No, but that's what I'm saying. I've oh. got Harrods afternoon tea to book. Oh, I've right. still got the shard to book. Right, because we have to do that before the year, isn't it? Yeah. When, um, when are we going for our Sunday dinner at Pierre's? We've got that to book. Oh, right. Our next things are July. We've got May oh, Hard um, Rock. We've got uh, a boat to book. We've got loads to book yeah. still. And then in July, we've got. The donkey walk on Nan's birthday. All oh, right, and then that Sunday we're at Mr. White's. Oh, so when's Marco, the donkey walk? Yeah. Donkey's Tuesday the eleventh. Oh, you're off then. I've got the day off work. Right, and then Mr. White's is Sunday the sixteenth. Oh, that's is, is Marco that... Pierre at Leicester Square. Oh, that's not the Sunday dinner. No, no. Oh, We've got oh there's so many that. going on. I need to get my diary sorted. <laughs> and I've still got loads over there to book. So. Yes, who knows the adventure? Will this oh, one make oh, it to Rob Beckett? Who knows? And when are we going on the boat? I've got that to book. I've got a whole wad there to book. Oh my goodness, because I can't remember when... when the... We put them on the fridge and then if it weren't for the fact that my phone notified me, we wouldn't have even remembered in ammo no, last month. No, but I'm just saying, I can't remember when you booked the... Uh, is it like we go up like we did when our nanny fell in the water? Yeah. And we have a meal? Yeah, see, that I want to book for, like, summer. Yeah, yeah. I might be able to book the um, Harrods Afternoon Tea for April time. The Shard, you need to decide when you want to do that, summer or winter. Summer. You want to do summer. Yeah. And then, see, the next few things I want to book is the walk up the O2 and the hot air balloon okay. and the dinner in the sky. You could go with your friends. <laughs> 
I'm sure you've got friends at work that will go with you. <laughs> My mum was coming up the stairs earlier at Wembley today. Oh, I was yeah. like, come on. He said she was not sure we need the lift. Hurry up and I'll find someone so you don't have to keep dragging me around London. <laughs> and I got to the top of you, isn't it? It was like Rocky. <laughs> Yay, I made it to the top of the stairs. I was like, no, I was like... But I do get puff viewers. I know you do, but I'm like, not many 60-year-olds are up London a couple of times a month, are they? No, no. She's out of bed. She, I've given her the directions to go to Harrods because she said, oh, I want to go to Harrods and get some sushi one day. I don't think realistically you're going to do that journey on your own because that's a few changes. Well, I we'll, think you'll get confused. We'll, we'll say, yeah, uh, I'll get to she'll just gardens, be, my She'll bill. just be stuck. She'll go to like the little assistant's cubicle and be like, can you help me get home, please? No, I won't. <laughs> well, you know how to get to Molly Rose. What's in there? <laughs> it's just a popcorn. Uh, no, I forgot that. Molly Rose. Oh, I need to write it all down. She'll yeah. remember. Gail's Bakery. Oh, no, that's uh, Oxford Street. Yeah. So there's a few come, ways you can get there. Uh, Oxford Street? You can come off that. Uh, Dr. Top Road. Road but road it's a long walk. walk. It's not a long walk. It that's is. a bit dramatic. It is a long <laughs> that's walk. That's a bit dramatic. No, it is a long it's walk. It's about a normal 10, 15 minute walk. It's just the popcorn. Don't. <laughs> It's just the popcorn. So how do you get, get to Harrods then? Here to Mile End? Mile End is your central point. You need to get into London. Right. And then from Mile End, I feel like you need to go to like Oxford Circus or somewhere. Because you need to pick up a Piccadilly line. Oh, so I've got to go and get on another line. So it's like two or three changes. I don't think you're going oh, well, to be able to do that. I would be all right. I would leave here at six in the morning <laughs> and I'll be back here at six at night. <laughs> Hello, Shannon, I'm just coming back with the octopus. How long did you go for, Mum? I left at six. Oh. Yeah, but you don't know. We haven't been Harrods for years. It could all have changed. You might get there and, like, normally you used to get in the entrance and walk straight through, and that was where the food hall was. Yeah, and walk through the cakes. And then you had the, the little octopus bar. octopus in the middle, wasn't it? Yeah. And then you used to follow the it around, and that was the bakery and the yeah, chocolates yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah. Mum will probably go walking down, and it'll be like a perfume aisle or something there. She'll say, where's the food? I'll have to say someone, excuse me. Imagine Where? if they said the food hall's gone. I'll say, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> where's the cakes? Oh, we don't do the cakes no more, madam. And I wouldn't mind going Selfridges for the macarons because they've got a proper little bit in Selfridges. Oh, We've done. only done Selfridges a couple of times. It's not really yeah, one yeah. we go to much. Harrods, if we want a, like, a little afternoon out, uh, that is where we go. They're sort of more like Christmas time. Selfridges we've been Christmas time, but Selfridges is where they have a rooftop garden that I wouldn't mind going to. That looks really nice. Oh, right. We'll go up in the lift. Yeah, and it's like a rooftop garden. You can have an afternoon lunch in that there. That looks oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we've gone Selfridges and I've got some perfumes before. And I think you got some uh, them little jelly bit sweets, weren't you? Yeah, that's Selfridges. But then Harrods is more like perfumes. We have a look at the bags. You just send up. You know, I like Harrods for like the, what people call took, like the teddy bears. Mm. I used to collect them year in, year out. And they'll just stop. And we used to go Christmas time to get the tins of biscuits, weren't it? Get like a little thing. What I do want to do is whenever I move out, I want to get like a Harrods ball ball every year. Oh, Build a collection yeah. of Harrods ball balls. I can have a Harrods ball ball from me to me. And then mum and dad can get me Shirovsky ones. And I can build a tree oh. of collections. Well, I'll just let you follow me in the <laughs> time. Poor <laughs> day. But yeah, so it's been an eventful day. Another day out in London. I'm very tired now. I was going to say, I'm quite naked. I'm going to hit the sack. But well, I've got to wash up first. I think it's still on. Um, I'm not too sure. Or it might be touring like other places around the UK at the moment. Oh, so I'm going to slather my lip in Zavirax now, hit the sack, and back to work tomorrow. I might just put water in them. Just like them that. Away. Mum can't bother to wash up. But yes, as I say, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. Have you seen Disney on Ice? What do you think? What's your favourite Disney person, viewers? What's your favourite Disney character and what's your favourite Disney film, mate? Mine's Dumbo. You like Dumbo? I thought you liked the um, Pinocchio and Dopey and that. It's just the popcorn rubbing. Yeah, I, I, well, we saw that little, uh, maybe we, do, we didn't see Snow White, did we? No, Dopey and Snow White, they just come on at the end. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. take care, stay safe as always, and we'll see you whenever we see you. Bye, guys.